Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now in this pick a card reading, we're going to be figuring out what blessings are coming to you after this quarantine. First of all, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I am doing $10 readings as well, so if you guys are interested, all that info will be down below. But let's hop right in here. We have group one, two, three, and four, and let's get started on pal one. Hello group one, I hope you guys are doing okay during this quarantine once again, but let's hop right in. So group one, you guys had the Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Wands reversed. We have Imagine reversed. And we have Action, okay. So I like this. What I really like though is the Ace of Swords paired with action here because this lets me know that you guys are changing perspectives on different areas of your life and things that you want to do but with action this is letting me know here that you guys are actually going to be taking action on your ideas here which is great. I've, what I'm noticing too is the black and white horses which is like yin and yang to me so I feel like after a period maybe of staying inside or just really reevaluating and analyzing things in your life, you're gonna bring about new changes and new beginnings here, okay? One that is going to be action filled, whether you guys are physically moving or starting a new project, a new job, what have you. But with Imagine here, I'm also getting that some of you guys are going to get some kind of wish fulfilled here or there is some type of confusion that is now going away for you guys to where you are able to see clearly with the ace of swords and just move on there may have been some false start or false beginning with a person place or thing here but i see you guys um really cutting it out cutting out the illusions in your life here and just taking action truly on what it is you guys want it's a lot of strength mental strength here so group one that is all i have for you here thank you so much for watching and let's move on to group two hi group two let's just hop right into here so you guys chose the judgment card this card originally came out reversed so we're just gonna leave it like that we have the Two of Swords reversed, love it, here and now reversed, and yin and yang, okay. So what I'm getting from this group is that there is an energy of um, receptivity, there's an energy of just chilling out here, okay. So I feel like what blessings are coming in is that you're going to be in a better place mentally to where you are able to make better decisions and see things clearly for how they are especially with the two of swords coming out reverse this card to me talks about finally making a decision not going back and forth um not giving yourself conflict anymore here whether this be things in your life, a certain person, where you want to move. You are releasing a lot of stuff. You are letting go of stuff. And some of you guys may actually be moving or you are just changing your perspective, changing paths on where you want to go next, which is great. Yeah, here and now comes to 32, which is a five. So I feel like there's going to be positive change coming through. It may not feel very positive but just know that this is a redirection going on whether this be physical or mental but i'm getting more mental with the two of swords and yin and yang here and i feel like this new path or this new decision that you're going down is going to bring you stability it's going to bring you peace of mind really yin and yang upright is yin which talks about being in flow, going with the flow here. Okay. 
So group two, that is all I have for you here. I hope this resonated in any way and I hope you guys are doing okay during this quarantine. So we're gonna move on to group three now and I'll see you guys in my next pick a card. Bye. Hi group three, so here is your reading. If you guys chose the king of cups here and I hope you guys are doing okay during this quarantine as well. So we have the King of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords, awesome, come to the edge reversed, and anxiety, yeah, this pile makes total sense. Okay, group three, I actually really like this, so the energy I'm getting from this pile here is you guys are going to be releasing fear that is your blessing you guys are actually going to make moves and have a change of mindset in actually accomplishing the things that you guys want to accomplish here with the queen of swords she's pretty badass this is someone who is very healthy as well mentally some of you guys are cutting out a water sign cancer pisces scorpio if not then i see you guys definitely Getting more crafty is what I'm seeing, and with the king and the queen, there's going to be a nice balance of masculine and feminine with you guys here, and people are going to notice you as very mature, people are going to look at you as a good example as well. Again, some of you guys may be getting more crafty with the king of cups, who's like teaching a painting class, working with children. And come to the edge reverse, this talks about fear. But right after it, we have anxiety reverse. So like I said, releasing fear, releasing judgments of yourself and actually going after what it is you want. We have two nines. Nines talk about uh, wrapping up loose ends here, okay? I feel like you guys are finally coming out of a period of darkness or a period of stepping back and analyzing things. So after quarantine, I feel like you guys are still going to follow through with the changes you guys have made here, which is great. That, that's beautiful. I love that. This feels very healthy here as well, okay? So group three, that is all I have for you here. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are doing all right. So I'll see you guys in my next pick a card. Bye. Okay, hello group four. So you guys chose the Hierophant, which is awesome. That's badass. And I hope you guys are doing okay during this quarantine. So the Hierophant. We have the Queen of Pentacles reversed, Deep Knowing reversed, and Adjacent Possibilities reversed. Okay, so group four, what blessings are coming in? I feel like you guys are going to be very decisive and very set on what it is you want to accomplish here, okay? And some of you guys may be putting yourselves or are being put on a platform here to where people are going to come to you for help with the Hierophant here. With the Queen of Pentacles reversed, I feel like you are getting out of being too comfortable here. Okay, some of you guys may not have trusted your abilities or felt like you don't have anything to offer. But what Blessings is coming in is the courage and the confidence that you do have stuff to offer. And this card originally came out upright, the Hierophant, which I love because upright, this is someone pure. This is someone who is truly trying to help people and, and is not selfish and actually has valuable information here. So people are going to be looking at you for help, looking at you as a good source here. And um, some of you guys may have had a lot of options in regards to career in regards to love some of you guys may actually be getting into a relationship here maybe with the Taurus but with adjacent possibilities reversed you guys are I'm sorry I keep on saying this but just making decisions here and not confused anymore some of you guys may be going back into school 
Um, and with deep knowing here coming out reversed, some of you guys are actual tarot readers, is what I'm getting here. You guys actually do have psychic abilities or just a very strong intuition, but I don't see you keeping it in anymore. I see you guys expressing that. I see you guys sharing that, which is beautiful. So group four, that is all I have for you here. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I hope you guys are doing all right. And I'll see you guys in my next week of cards. Thanks, bye.